Sorry about that, my recorder decided to uh, act up a little bit. But yeah, there's supposed to be a chest down here, and there isn't, so... Now, I know that this realm does have its uh, drawbacks. The only chest that we have access to is the... Uh... Health chest from over there. So let's come back here in a little bit. Stabby, stab, stab, stab. So, what is this one? <laughs> Do you too. Alright, kill 30 enemies while using only war's instant kill attacks within the time limit. Bonus cells rewarded for the time left on the clock. Now, I believe there's a trophy for killing um, five enemies in the air without touching the ground. This is the best time to do that because the, there's going to be a lot of flying bats around here. Jimmy's while doing the, the finisher. Not by much, but uh, at least you did. Reflexes in, uh, reflective instincts have awoken, allowing him to counter physical attacks and projectile threats. Press R1 just the moment before impact. So. Now that was entertaining. Can we do it again? No. Thank you. Alright, got my health back. 
Wrath back. Jelly, let's go. I got souls from the car. <laughs> Love it. <sighs> Love this game. I thought I didn't do this uh, earlier or sooner. I've been meaning to redo it since I got the uh, HD recorder. I just haven't had the time, you know. A lot of issues. Wake up! Chant, uh, increases war's damage with environmental weapon attacks. Don't really need that. Well, actually, let's just check this out quickly. Because some enchantments have passive. It does! Dressing keys increases damage inflicted with environmental weapons, which is passive by having equipped something. And then generate souls for destroying environmental objects by any means. So let's equip that to our harvester. Look at the effect, too. Cause that uh, spark to appear. So now we have that equipped. Whenever we destroy any environmental object, we'll get souls, regardless of if we had souls before or not. And we get drastic increased damage when using said weapons. When using uh, environmental toys. So. Souls. Souls. Right. We'll stop by Volgrim as soon as we get the other chests. So we can see what we can get. Maybe we can get that uh, wrath ability. Or enchantment. I'll probably just spend it on uh, abilities for uh, Chaos Eater first. If it's close to leveling up again, that'll be awesome to have more abilities to use. I love that when you use that, you actually ignite them. He'd know every single battle ever. So even if you strip him of his strength, he'll still have all that glorious knowledge. And knowledge is power. Alright, let's go see Volgrim. Not enough to buy Bane. Oh well. Buy another empty vessel. I'll we'll save, we'll save, we'll save off on buying those for a while. 
I get stone skin, which increases my defense, but I want to work on mastering uh, War's Chaos here first. So let's get tackle. Let's so. Increase damage just attack. Please block take something. your time. bugging me. We have uh, a few millennia after the apocalypse. I can buy that. I can buy there's still some cars that will have paint on it. Strong paint right now. What I can't buy is these newspapers. They still have stuff on them. After several millennia, to the point that humanity has devolved into skeletal monstrosities, you would think that the print on paper would be gone, or if paper even existed still, it should have been dissolved long ago. Even 400. Didn't think I'd get even 400. That's a big freaking pipe. I wonder, do pipes, sewage pipes, really get that big? Or this big? I've always wondered that because you always see that type of shit in uh, games like this, where you go into sewers, you see these huge drain pipes that you know you can fit an entire tank in. But this I can understand, this is an underground tunnel. Cars are here. You can see the street. Everything else, I don't know. with my attacks. Alright, let's save quickly. Can I, manual, can I do a manual save? I can. Ooh, I'm about to level up. Alright, I like... I do like the fact that the game does save automatically, but I... I just... I don't trust autosaves. I grew up in the era of games where you have to manually save. I just don't trust them. It's nothing against the autosave function, it's just... be free, not explode. Motherfuckers don't listen to me, I swear. <laughs> Stab! In the face. Right in the face. 
<laughs> Lumping up cars, just chucking them at monsters. Alright. Should be something down. Yeah. There it is. There, soldier. Right. We're doing fairly good for this set. The set's going to end once we reach Twilight Cathedral, so. Yeah. And the next set's going to be Twilight Cathedral, and then we'll go from there. I saw it. Oh. Before we go down there, I believe there's a chest of souls in here. Let's go grab that one. Stuck into the point where we don't even process the weapon anymore. Well, they come in swarms. Our health. I love how war the upgrades for war's health work. Basically, you get all the four and you get an entire new health bar. That's a little bit increased the health bar, new health bar. Just gonna show you how powerful and badass it is. Thank you. upgrade, which... Yeah! I think now we're pretty much equal in strength to how war was during the apocalypse. And that's about to level up again. Four levels per weapon. Now go on to the next one. The... Scythe. Alrighty. Unfortunately, I can't really grind in this game because a lot of the grinding is really done <laughs> by playing the game. You can master pretty much any weapon just by playing all, all, all four weapons by mastering by playing the game. Yeah. You can master all the weapons, all three of them, by playing the game. Yeah. Oh yeah. More this way. <laughs> Haha. 
two. Oh. Sorry, buddy. This. Yay! Hell shard, life shard. And I have two life bars. Well, three life bars technically. I have the two extra and my base. Yay! All right, we're good. I believe it's called a uh, trauma or a tremor. Thank you. Get up closer. <laughs> if quickly if you can catch it out, catch these cars out of midair. Like that. Just toss it back out. He has two, fuck. Right, come on, fucker. We have another one. Good amount of souls. That uh, yellow glowing dot won't we'll worry about later, a lot later in the game. Bye bye. Ooh. Almost fell. I love how he doesn't, he doesn't open chests. He punches chests. That's a war thing. Like, fuck opening them, I'm gonna punch it. Like this. Yeah. I just kinda gave him a super. Key with a symbol engraved or of an eye engraved in it unlocks a nearby barrier. Thank you. Let's see if they have any interest around here. So let's continue upwards. I love how he opens his barriers. And shake! Twist! It's nothing. 
Some demon trick. I know what I saw. He's right. Uriel. It's there, beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it, ancient. From neither the White City nor the Black Depths, something lost between. Honestly, what's a horse doing without his horse? Or his mount? <laughs> That's a griffin, too. Now, there's another trophy that's missable here. You have to kill 160 enemies. Um, I recommend doing this on easy mode. So, if you don't get it, go there. Uh, have a save file before this. Anyway. I've never gotten this trophy, so I'm being quiet so I can focus on it. I doubt we'll get the apocalyptic. Oh, this 
guy in front of the car killed killing uh, Apocalypse. Beat him in the uh, 60 version. I said, I'm going to get the trophy, but it's not trophy. Like I said, I think this guy is uh, invulnerable due to a glitch in the end. No basis for that. I think that's it. I'll laugh if I get the trophy. No, I'm not. I'm gonna laugh. And with that, we've arrived at the Twilight Cathedral. Wasn't up for having visitors today. <laughs> I'm gonna run around here real quickly, get some uh, some stuff, and then I'm gonna end it, end this up today. This is, we got some here, pretty good time. I do have to say, if I say so myself. I need that one just yet. Who are you? Step. Alright, there is a chest over here. I know that much though. Thank you. And there's a Volgrim spot over here. Alright, so we can upgrade and then I'll end the set.
Wrath Shard, I should buy a shard. I'll wait on that. I'm gonna get a lot of souls while inside Swat Cathedral. Let us upgrade. Master of as you are powerful. Um, oh, I have too hard a bargain, friend. And power strike. So, uppercut is master. What would you ask? Awesome. Alright, so that's it for set one. Uh, thank you for joining me. I had a lot of fun redoing this. I have a lot of fun going through all this again, so. I shall see you guys next time where we take on Twilight Cathedral. See you guys then. Bye. Hello, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you'd like to show your support, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if you really want to show your support, just go to our Facebook channel or our Twitter and like and follow us. Thank you again for watching the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next set. Bye.